Hello, my name is Chris Wright and welcome to the IB In Thinking School Leadership site. The purpose of this short video is to show you the teaching and leadership resources available and to explain how to navigate the site. The site map is probably the easiest way of going into the site and shows you the full range of comprehensive resources. The blue tables at the top show you the main themes of leadership, mission and vision and teaching and learning, generic to all schools and not specific to IB schools. The right hand side columns show you more specifically what it is to lead an IB World School, to implement the IB Diploma and some very practical resources for the Diploma Coordinator. Another way of navigating the site is to click on each of the tabs at the top and you'll see the drop down menu. Let's have a look at some of the pages under the IB Approaches to Teaching. If we go to the approach, the IB Approaches to Learning, and let's say have a look at the thinking skills. Now, as you see on each of these pages, there's a range of resources. There are embedded videos to start thinking. There are reflection exercises. There are explanations of material about what, it, what the IB thinks about the thinking skills with a lot of hyperlinks to the research and thought pieces to go behind it should you wish to explore these further. There are many links to activities and protocols from other organisations. This looks at the Harvard visible thinking routines, which are often used by the IB. And on this page, too, are loads of links to the frameworks for thinking, which you can explore further, with many links to detailed explanations. And at the bottom, a whole list of resources and a resource bank. And these are protocols and activities that you can use both in the classroom and in the staff room. Let's explore more specifically some of the IB material. In the IB World School, this is very much for administrators and leaders. You'll see on the key policies there, each of the five IB policies, and each of those pages contains PDF downloadable materials on how to structure your policies for the IB, ready for authorization or evaluation. There are also a series of IB slides, which is how to introduce some of the key themes in the IB, be they the learner profile, international mindedness, the ATLs, TOK, CAS, or even IB leadership. Let's have a look at one of those. International mindedness is something which is often explored with authorization and evaluation. And this PowerPoint here is a useful resource to use when introducing the IB to new staff, students or parents, or even governors. And there are many links here to other pages which explores some of the key themes. And these are pages elsewhere in the website. The IB diploma section, is dedicated to implementing the actual IB within the school. And here you've got again many downloadable PDFs and presentations that you can use straight from the website, plus also a host of resources for developing some of those key themes. So for example, in theory of knowledge, there are a number of lessons there, eight lessons against each of the ways of knowing, plus advice on how to implement it and embed it in each of the subjects. On the IB coordinators section, there's some more practical advice, some tips about authorization and evaluation. For example, in the evaluation section here are questions about which might appear in an evaluation visit. So who will be on the team? And these are questions that could be asked during the visit on different areas of the standards and practices, a useful revision aid prior to actually having the visit. Two last things I'd like to show you on the website. In the home, if you go to the home page here, there is a blog section. Now, in the blog section, it does two things. It will give you updates of recent pages, you can see here, and these tend to be on a monthly basis, new pages which have been written for the site, but also they are thematic pages. For example, this one is about the beginning of a new school year, which in the Northern Hemisphere is starting in around August or September. And some of the key issues you might wish to address or review is your mission as a school. Is your vision as a school, either for this year or for the future? And also the culture, how you do things in the school, the culture of your school. And there are many links in this blog here about pages on the website which will help you develop those themes. Let us have a look at another focus. 
Job descriptions is often an area which I'm asked about, about do you have a job description for diploma coordinators or for extended essay supervisors, etc. Well, this blog here will give you links to pages in the site which will actually connect you with those PDFs and scaffolded frameworks to write your own job descriptions. One last thing, if you go back to navigating the site, you'll find a toolkit here. One of the things I often experience going around schools on school visits is how do they develop, how does a school, an IB school, develop a collaborative culture? This part of the site here is giving you a lot of tools about how to develop and how to facilitate adult learning. And in this section here, Toolkit of Activities is a host of facilitative activities you can work with staff in and they can also develop with the students. Thanks for watching this introduction to the IB Leadership site. The best way to find out more is to click on any of the pages and explore. And if you have any questions, please either leave comments at the bottom of the page or send me an email and I'll happily get back to you.